On the one hand, we seem to know from the inside, our minds, we seem to know our minds better than anything else. What could we be more intimately associated with in our own minds? And then when we try to figure out how our minds exist in the world, how they could be, for instance, a function of what's going on in our brains, it seems utterly mysterious. When you look for minds in the world, there don't seem to be any, and yet we have the sense at the same time that each one of us has a mind, and each of us knows, knows our own mind, it would seem, mm -hmm. just perfectly. That is the way it seems. That's the way it's always seemed, I suppose. That's why it's been so hard to come up with a good theory of consciousness, a good theory of the mind because that just seemingly undeniable intuition is in some degree false. We're fooled about our own minds. Descartes famously said, the one thing I can't be wrong about is the content of my own conscious thought. Whether it's true or false, that's another matter. But what my thoughts are, and that they're my thoughts, that I can't be wrong about. And oddly enough, I'm claiming that he was wrong about that. The one thing he said was most certain. 